The hue and saturation effect feels more like a color adjustment tool than an effect. When activated, a color wheel-like control is available on the image. Below, I can set what color is to be affected. The circle down here that's filled in represents the currently selected color. This circle on the far left represents all colors or the entire image. Rotating the outer circle here will then adjust all the colors in the image. Tap on the blue circle, and when I rotate the outer circle, only the blues in the image are affected. Notice that there's a small circle here that marks where the adjustment started from. Return here if you decide to not make a change. Tap on any of the circles down here to bring up brightness and saturation sliders that will affect only that color. So if I tap on the blue circle, the brightness and saturation sliders appear and I can then adjust the brightness and saturation for only the blues that are in the sky and water in this image. Select the yellow circle, and I can adjust the saturation and brightness of the yellow in the sun rays and clouds. I can use the color circle to change this to more of a light red color. So I can go through here color by color, making adjustments to the hue with the color circle, or adjust the brightness and saturation sliders of the selected color range. The hue and saturation effect is one of the most powerful and fun to use features in Pixelmator for iOS.